Yo, hey guys. Um, so a lot of ideas in this video about squatting. Um, I'm going to talk about um, why to do it, what it does, and kind of talk about my resources and uh, my thoughts on it. Now, I'm not 100% right on everything that I say, so you really have to um, pick and choose. I mean, everything I say is with reason, but um, I say that I'm not 100% right because every time I release a new squat video, I have new ideas on it of what's right, what's wrong, and so forth. Um, first thing I notice, I look a little lopsided, but maybe it's the angle. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyways, what the hell is a squat? Why should you do it? Is it going to make you jump higher or what? Nah, that's not really what the squat is about. The squat is just a really natural body motion of lowering yourself to the ground. So if I'm going to pick something up off the ground, if I'm going to sit down on the ground, um, I need to be able to use, I need to be able to squat. So squat is honestly training for just life. Um, squat is also training for any time you're lowering your center of gravity in basketball. The main time you're doing that in basketball is on a landing. Um, squat landing is like the ideal way to land. It's not available in every situation, but um, that's basically what it's about. So squatting will for sure make you better at landing. Um, it might make you better at jumping a little bit because you lower a little bit uh, before jumping up, um, but that's not really what it's about. So, I mean, it's just a really good exercise, really functional, but it's just for life and for landing and for lowering yourself before you jump or before you um, shoot a jumper and when you land and so forth. So, here's some thoughts. Um, I'm going barefoot. I want access to my feet. Um, here's Chandler. We're going with light weight and focusing on form more than anything. Trying to have long eccentrics, or rather um, spend three or four seconds on the way down. Um, doing front squats, trying to keep our arms up. Um, trying to keep our knees out. Ooh, okay, so Chandler I think should take a narrower stance because um, uh, the body should stack joint over joint over joint, basically. The feet should be roughly hip and shoulder width. Um, and Chandler was a little bit wide on those. Some other thoughts. Um, okay, so we're trying to get our knees out as much as possible. Uh, that's something that needs to be covered. Um, but by in order to do it, um, something that I've discovered, and I really want to credit Kelly Starrett um, at Mobility Wad through CrossFit for the ideas on this. Um, in order to keep our knees really wide, um, which is just what we want, if our knees go narrower, um, there's a valgus force on the knees, what you call it, um, when the knees like, I look lopsided, but it's hard to tell with the camera angle. Um, um, anyways, valgus force is like when the knees cave inwards and there's correlation um, of that with injury, ACL tears, patellar pains, and so forth. So we want to keep our knees as wide as possible. And in order to do that, I'm actually picking a narrower stance with my feet pointing um, straight ahead. And I'm spreading the floor as much as I possibly can. And what, I, what we mean by that is creating external rotation force. So this is how this video is different from all of the squat videos. In the past, um, for, the, for the most part, you've seen me with a wider stance with my feet pointing out. But um, with uh, my new squat stance, um, credit to Kelly Starrett and others, my buddy Mark Kowalczyk, I had a video with him on Queen and Jerk. Um, uh, they've had me getting a narrower stance, um, applying external rotation on the floor with my feet, and which will shove my knees out. So does that make sense? Um, it makes sense to me. Do I believe in it? Uh, right now I do. Um, so the squat, which we started with no weight, which wasn't recorded, is really a warm-up for this clean and jerk thing. Um, the clean and jerk is uh, you pull the weight off the ground and then you um, catch it up and then you throw it up over your head, basically. And this is more of a jumping type exercise um, because it forces you to um, be efficient um and moving a weight over your head which is similar to moving your uh weight own weight off the ground so if you want a jumping exercise um squatting is more of a landing exercise um clean and jerk is more of a of a um jumping exercise 
Now we're going pretty lightweight with this. Um, we semi know what we're doing, but I think that it's, you need to be pretty interested in the sport of lifting to really want to go super, super heavy. Cause you're always risking, I guess if your form's all right, um, it's okay. But I mean, we're really concerned with getting better and learning more about what we're doing. In order to do that, we're working on improving our technique rather than trying to set some kind of records or something like that. So that's why we work the way we do. And that's really, um, that's really what it's, what it's all about. You know, this is what we've been working on. Um, and that's why we do these exercises. They're not the flashiest things in the world. Um, and they might not make you jump way higher instantly, but squatting is just really going to be helpful in life. And I think that, um, external rotation is an important key that I haven't hit on in any of my videos. So if you have any questions about that, get at me. If you have any ideas you want to add, um, I'd love to hear them. Um, but, um, I definitely think these are, uh, good weight lifting and lowering activities if you're a basketball athlete. Um, and yeah, the, this clean and jerk in particular, just, they teach you how to use your body, basically, how to apply tension, how to hold tension, how to create torque or external rotation force, how to move weights and carefully stabilize them and so forth, so. Um, we're just trying to get better. I'm not trying to be right. I'm trying to get get better. So that's what it's all about.